Hi guys and girls, welcome back to another Toy Box. Today we're looking at the Iron Man Armoury. So, let's start off with these guys. So it comes with two AIM soldiers. Um, so they've got these cool little masks. Um, remind me a lot of Scooby Gear, these yellow bits. And then we've got the Hot Rod. Which is what my kids were excited about with these guns. Also double exhaust pipes. We've got Tony Stark, Tony's toy counter with a burger, a cup of coffee, and a part to the hot rod. Flying Iron Man suit, the prototype Iron Man suit, and a Vrain character. Fire extinguisher and this little doody holographic. It's meant to be Iron Man. So on the back, you can tell what they are. So this is the Prime Armor. And you can take the wings off and hang them on here. That's the prototype armor. Then you've got space for a blazer armor and a war machine. Not included. Uh, so all this clips together with these little pins so you can bend and flex it however you want. These Iron Man screens are full. Obviously, where the armor's go, they're not. Not sure why we decided to go with popping this in here, but that is part of the instructions. So, on the whole, it's not a bad little kit. It's a quick build. A bit gutted that we didn't get an Iron Man for every station so you have to pay extra and uh, it's pretty much the same Iron Man that comes with a mech. Hot Rod is okay, it's not greatly detailed. Uh, I do love the engine though. Uh, I'm not sure why it's got guns either but I suppose some kids are going to love that. So that is a look at it. Oh, I suppose it's worth mentioning these Iron Man uh, figures haven't got faces. They come with these um, C3 heads. So I'm presuming that's because Tony Stark is there. However, these wings are quite cool. I did like them. Um, but that there, guys, is your Iron Man Armoury. This won't be the last time we're going to be looking at this. I've got a few ideas how to improve this build. So, till next time, stay safe, keep gaming.